are going to learn the British hemoptysis, the Bataille type and what is the differential diagnosis if the person is having the hemoptysis. Hemoptysis means coughing up of blood. Mm, the patient coughs and there is blood in the sputum of the patient. So it is not vomiting of the blood but it is blood stained sputum. Uh, it means coughing of, up of the blood and the blood is bright red in the color. It may be mixed with the sputum or air and patient should be asked about the type, degree, frequency and duration of the hemoptysis. Now coming towards the types of the hemoptysis. There are four basic types of the hemoptysis which are frank hemoptysis, blood stained hemoptysis, blood streaked hemoptysis and rusty hemoptysis. Frank hemoptysis uh, in this type of the hemoptysis material cuffed up is holy blood. It is most commonly seen in the tuberculosis bronchitis bronchiectasis pulmonary infarction and mitral stenosis so frank hemoptysis all containing blood is seen in the tuberculosis bronchiectasis pulmonary embolism and mitral stenosis. Now come towards the second type of the hemoptysis which is blood, blood stained sputum. In this blood and sputum are mixed in various proportions and it is most commonly occurs in the bronchial carcinoma. So in bronchial carcinoma there is a blood stained sputum and then the third category of the third type of the hemoptysis is blood streaked sputum. In this streaks of the blood are present in mucoid or purulent sputum and it is frequently seen in the chronic bronchitis but may occur in the tuberculosis and bronchial carcinoma. So it is most commonly occurs in the chronic bronchitis and then the fourth last but not the least the rusty sputum in this degradation products of the hemoglobin give the sputum a color which vary between the rust and the golden yellow and it is a common feature of the pneumococcal pneumonia so it's a typical feature of pneumococcal pneumonia so there are four types, frank, all about blood in tuberculosis, pulmonary embolism, mitosnosis, bronchiectasis, blood stained in the bronchial carcinoma, blood streaked in the chronic bronchitis and the rusty in the pneumococcal pneumonia. What are the DDs of the pulmonary tuberculosis? Uh, uh, what are the DDs of the hemoptysis? First of all, the, the most common is the pulmonary tuberculosis. Here I am showing the graphical representation, um, the vague di diagrammatic picture to remember the DDs. So at the first part, epicys of the lung most commonly occurs the pulmonary tuberculosis. So the first cause is of the hemoptysis is TB. Then comes the chronic bronchitis. Chronic bronchitis. Then again same at the same area dilatation and destruction of the walls causes the bronchiectasis so pulmonary tb bronchitis bronchiectasis then lung abscess fourth and then lung carcinoma so these were the common features, uh, common sites. 
कॉजेस ऑफ द हेमोप्टिस इज टी बी ब्रोंकाइटस ब्रोंकियटेसिस लंग एप्सेस एंड लंग कार्सिनोमा इट ऑल्सो अकर्स इन द नमूनिया पलनरी इन्फॉक्शन पलनरी इन्फॉक्शन नमूनिया एंड एडिनोमा सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल टी बी दैन ब्रोंकाइटस ब्रोंकियटेसिस लंग एप्सेस लंग कार्सिनोमा एडिनोमा पलन इन्फॉक्शन एंड नमूनिया दीज वर द कॉमन कॉजेज ऑफ द हेमोप्टिस ड्यू टू द लंग डिजीज एंड अदर दैन द लंग हेमोप्टिस कैन ऑल्सो अकर्स ड्यू टू द हार्ट डिजीज दैट इज द माइटल सिग्नोसिस दैन कम्स द ब्लीडिंग डिसऑर्डर्स विच कॉजेज द हेमोप्टिस दैन ए वी मेल फॉर्मेशन एंड लास्ट बट नॉट द लीस्ट द गुड पास्टर सिंड्रोम सो दीज वर द कॉमन डेडीज ऑफ द हेमोप्टिस इफ अ पेशेंट प्रजेंट्स विद द ब्लड इन द स्पूटम और कफिंग अप ऑफ द ब्लड दैन दीज डीडीज शुड बी शुड कम इन द माइंड एंड यू हैव टू रूल आउट ऑल दीज डिजीज एंड थ्रू द इन्वेस्टिगेशन हैव टू मेक अ प्रोविजनल डायग्नोसिस फ्रॉम द फॉलोइंग दीज डिजीज and these were the main types of the hemoptysis which also helps in determining the cause of the hemoptysis uh, in the coming videos we will discuss each separate disease and its characteristic related to the hemoptysis so keep watching